All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to have a quick look at the physics panel. I'm gonna show you guys everything that you can do with it and that you can currently not do with it and just overall how you can use it. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so here we are in the UFN. The first thing you have to do is obviously get something which you want to apply physics to. So in our case, we're gonna use this little tab over here for a very specific reason. I'll show you why in a second. Um, we're gonna add uh, a shape. So this can be a ball, a cube, whatever. Let's use a ball because they're obviously very pronounced for, uh, you know, having physics. All right, so once we have this ball in our map here, um, we can start applying physics. You can do that under the details panel over here. So if you're, for example, on the world settings, click on a details panel, and then you have to scroll down just a little bit and you see the new physics panel over here, which allows you to simulate physics, enable gravity, and a lot of other cool stuff. Um, but all you have to do for this one is actually just enable physics and it will already instantly work. Um, you can obviously uh, change, uh, push the changes here. Um, but technically, if you just apply this one little thing here, you actually do not need to push anything. Um, and you can actually see that if we quickly go in game, you can see our ball over here. All right. So, uh, so as you can see, if we quickly make this window a little bit closer and actually have both of the things, the editor and actually Fortnite Creative open, you can see that our ball is already wiggling. And if I move this up a little bit, um, you can see that the ball is now falling down, which is super cool. It works instantly. It is obviously not perfect. And we get to the first limitations already that uh, the physics and the Fortnite characters do not work that well together. You can see it's kind of bugging out. And I would assume it has something to do with the collision of the Fortnite characters. Um, but, for example, it does work quite well if we quickly go here and look for some kind of vehicle. You can see that if we bump this one, it does work a lot better, right? So we can actually... Obviously, it's not perfect because uh, we didn't change anything yet. But we can technically play around with it. So once we go back into our editor, we can see that we have obviously a bunch more settings. So one setting, which is obviously very great to change, is the mass in kilograms. Um, so meaning, obviously, the higher the number, the heavier the object is. So if you only want to have an object of one kilogram, which is super light, um, then we can use that as well. All right, and we can technically just go here and you can see now the ball looks a lot lighter. It bounces a little bit more around. Um, but... Just in case, I will always push these. I'm not sure uh, if these actually fully work or not. I have some problems where if you didn't push them, the, the settings still apply, even though it shows here. So maybe just always push. Um, but there's obviously some basic stuff that you can do with it. The next two settings are linear damping and angular. So this basically means how much of like resistance this gives when you push it in one direction. So for the linear one. And for the angular, this is basically the rotation. So uh, basically the higher the number, the more resistance, the lower it is basically just rolling by itself. All right, we also have gravity, which means obviously that if we disable this one, the item will no longer just bounce on the floor. It will basically float in the air so we can quickly disable that. And now we should see. So and so and now you can see if we move this here, you can see it stays in the air. So if we like put this down a little bit like here. So now you can see it has no gravity enabled. And if we drive against this, you will see that it basically like kind of floats in the air, um, which is also a very cool feature. And I think this works a lot better than actually the normal bouncing off. All right, so we can also go a little bit into the advanced settings here. Uh, we're not going to go over every setting here because, first of all, I don't know all of them. And also, the, the physics are still like kind of wonky. It is kind of new to tab. It is probably not supposed to be in here. But one which works really well from the advanced tab here is the walkable slope override. This is absolutely insane and really cool for Fortnite Creative because it works quite well um, and which basically allows you to, like, for example, turn these steep angles into a walkable slope, meaning you can create wall running um, inside UFN slash Fortnite Creative. Um, or you can create like just slippery slopes, which uh, kind of works the opposite way then. The one thing which is super important, the angle, it does not work with every angle or kind of works, but you know, there's like a, where it becomes really buggy. So what I found out that 15 degrees is the, the maximum you can go for having like a wall uh, walkable thing. Um, what you want to do here is you see that you have the override option here, so you have to turn it on first. Um, and what you want to do, if you want to make it walkable, you go to increase walkable slope. So you get these four settings here, um, unchanged, obviously, unchanged and unwalkable is self-explanatory. And the other two ones are increase and decrease, which are also kind of self-explanatory. Um, but as I said, the higher you make the number for increase, the, the more likely you will be walking on the wall. And uh, if you decrease it, then you obviously have the opposite. So you kind of slide down. 
which uh, can be very helpful to, for example, create something like this where you can create wall runs. So all you have to do is just apply it. Make sure though that you do not have the other settings. You do not need simulate physics or even gravity or whatever. You do not need to enable that, otherwise the wall will just fall. Um, but for this one, uh, you can leave it on that. So just make sure that you check the walkable slope um, and make sure that you have the right settings. Then we'll allow you to create walkable slopes like this where you can basically wall run um, obviously to a 15 degree angle, but um, you cannot, for example, jump over here and uh, be on the other wall. That doesn't work, you slide down. Um, if you have something that like this, for example, you can go up here again. So you kind of have to walk onto the wall, uh, otherwise it will not really work. You can turn around, that it's, it works perfectly fine, um, but you cannot jump, you will slide down. If you want to do it with a normal static mesh, for example, if you want to go in here and just like select one thief from here, and you want to make this, this will not work because uh, the collision of this one is not set up for physics. Because if you use these, these will have a collision set to complex as simple, which if you quickly go into your static mesh, so double click onto the static mesh here, uh, and you go into your collision settings here, um, you can see that if we scroll down to the collision part here, it says use complex collision as simple. Um, you want to have simple and complex, otherwise it will not work. Right, so you can see right here, this one is a normal one, which has complex collision as simple. And if we duplicate this one, and um, we need to make sure that we actually duplicate it. And if we take another one and change the settings here to a simple and complex, I also got to tell you, for example, the sphere, you can also add simple collisions like this here. So for example, if you add a sphere, you can see that you can basically add one here. Um, but I already have one, so make sure that you always have also a simple collision. So now you can see that we have both of these, both of them have simulate physics. And now if we push it again, uh, you can see, and now you can see that this one is already moving here. It has obviously physics fully enabled, but this one with the uh, complex as simple collision doesn't work because um, it obviously has the wrong collision for the physics to be enabled. So there's one so there's one last thing you can technically also apply physics materials in UFN uh, but we only have the defaults one given and you cannot edit them uh, which means you cannot really do like bouncing balls and stuff like that uh, you can technically migrate one over from the unreal engine however you can still edit it and it technically works but you cannot publish a map with it or push it so that is kind of useless in that sense um, so sadly, physics materials currently do not work and uh, yeah other than that you can kind of use it, it doesn't really work with fortnite props um, which doesn't really make it too useful. I guess the walkable slope is the only thing that really works. But other than that, hopefully it was helpful. Keep in mind this is obviously not really meant to be in here, um, but you can play around with it, maybe learn it, and then in the future you can you know, master it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys back in the next one.